Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable or disable RSS feeds in Magento. And with that said, we're going to jump across to our Magento system and follow us along. Now, Dave, I've been to come across to our dashboard. And the thing is, is that Magento does come with multiple RSS options, which can help your products be found on Google. So it's just another mechanism for Google to spider and find products on your site. Now, obviously, this doesn't replace a sitemap. But there are some cool features in here which allows customers to check on their order status remotely using an RSS feed. So let's have a look at the settings. Now, this is hiding in system and configuration. So if you go to system, down to configuration, then on the left hand side, you'll want to scroll down until you see RSS feeds underneath catalog. So I've just highlighted that on your screen for you. So then click into RSS feeds and in here, this is where you can enable or disable them as the case may be. So Dave, can you see that we've got ours disabled at the moment? So we can then go and choose enabled. And Magento does come with a collection of different ones. Now you can set this up for the wish list, but you can also put an RSS feed on for new products, special products, coupons and discounts. Now this would come in handy if you've got affiliates, for example, you could give them the link to the coupons and discounts RSS feed. So if they're promoting your website and they want to know what the latest coupons and discounts are, now a little note there is that you need to set that up and enable it. And of course you would need the Magento Cron running in the background, which we have a separate video tutorial for you on that, is that you can then give your affiliates or maybe a select group of customers a link to that so they can see which coupons and discounts are available. So we're going to set that one as enabled. And the last option which we're going to show you here, which is that the customer order status notification. So customers can also see their order status via RSS as well. And Dave, while I'm there, top level category, I'm going to choose enable as well. So with those settings now set, we're now going to press save config at the top. Now, Dave, there's one extra step which I'm going to cover here because we don't know if you've got a full page cache extension enabled on your Magento website. So we're going to show you one extra step, which is really easy. And if you go to system, down to cache management, then on the left hand side, click on select all and then press submit on the right hand side. And the reason why we're doing that, Dave, is that even though we've got ours disabled, you may have a full page cache extension enabled on your Magento website. If you don't do this extra step, then you'll go to your website and you won't see the RSS icons appearing. So just jump across to our Magento website and we're on a product page right now. And we probably won't see the RSS icon appear in here. But if we go to a category page, for example, so we go into a top level category, can you see the subscribe to RSS feed yep. in the top right hand corner now? Okay, so customers can now subscribe to the RSS feed on your Magento website. And also if they go into their account section, so a little note here is that we are logged in as a customer on our website, is that we'll also be able to pick up or track our order status using RSS. And let's pretend that we're our own customer here. Well, Dave, you're my top customer by the looks of it. Hooray! <laughs> and if we click into one of Dave's orders, and again, this would be your customer, is that when you go and review one of the orders, is that you'll now see subscribe to order status. And of course, then once you mark the orders being shipped, then the RSS feed would be updated. And of course, then your customer would then get notified, of course, via email, but also via an RSS feed as well. So from myself, Matt, and from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. 
how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.